See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Hey, 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 Charisma here. Oh, welcome back to Charisma Daily. Michaela Montgomery from Atlanta, Georgia, took Trump's rally by storm with her speech. She blasted Kamala Harris and the crowds went crazy. Let's take a listen. I'm so happy you all came out to see me. So, <laughs> my name is Michaela Montgomery. A lot of you guys know me as the girl from Chick-fil-A, but I am so much more than that. <laughs> Not only do I serve as the CEO of Conserve the Culture, I am also the state director for Blexit down here in Georgia. I'm a Fulton County coordinator for America First Works, and I'm also launching a podcast on the Patriots Prayer Network. So put some respect on my name. <laughs> now, why don't we jump right into it? See, as a young single mother, I can tell y'all that rent is too damn high. <laughs> I I can tell you that as a young black voter, groceries are too damn high. And as an American citizen, period, seniors like my parents should never have to choose between medicine or food. It should never be the quality of life versus the quantity of life. And I don't want to hear, oh, but we kept the price of insulin and lowered the price of all these medicines. Yeah, but you raised the price of everything else, so it's about time to start telling the truth to Americans and let them know exactly what they're signing up for if they want to vote for Kamala Harris. We need to vote based on facts and not feelings. See, under Harris and Biden, the average Georgia household is losing $1,060 per month, and inflation is at 21.4%. And due to the war on energy, average gas prices have reached record highs for the state. We also did a poll, and 80% of us black Americans are not happy with the current state of the economy, so I'm going to need 80% of y'all to vote accordingly in November. They love me. They love me. They really love me. The left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. You know who Mrs. Willie Brown is, right? So Ms. Harris, or Mrs. Harris, uh, before she got married to her current husband, many years ago, she had an affair with Willie Brown. And he was married at the time, but estranged from his wife. And apparently he is the one who actually got her all the connections into politics and made the right, you know, forming the right relationships with people that will help her get into politics and move up the ranks. So this is who Melissa, uh, Michaela is referring to the wife of Willie Brown, uh, Kamala's ex-lover. A few days ago, President Trump said he didn't know Vice President Harris was a black woman. I'm trying to figure out what all the outrage is about because she's only black when it's time to get elected. Did I lie? The same black 
people who are mad at Trump for being confused about her race, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, are seemingly forgetting that while you're touting her as a savior for black people, she identifies as an Asian woman. She chose her side and it wasn't ours. When asked if she would ever do anything specifically for black people, she said no. Whereas Trump gave us the platinum plan, <laughs> which specifically uplifted the black community by increasing capital by almost $500 billion, creating 500,000 new black businesses, and would give black churches the ability to fight for federal resources for their communities. And why are we acting like strong borders aren't a thing literally everywhere else in the world? Since when has being patriotic been a crime? See, a few weeks ago at the debate, Trump mentioned black jobs. And a lot of people got in an uproar as if they didn't know what he meant. Well, we go to the polls and cast our black vote. We go to the stores and spend our black dollar. We live in our black community, but for whatever reason, we draw the line at a black job. <laughs> oh, but wait, because if you're wondering what a black job is, please, I encourage you all to drive through Atlanta at all these beautiful black owned businesses and check and see who works there. Probably a black person working for a black entrepreneur, recycling the black dollar, creating black generational wealth. Wow. If they come here illegally and they're taking your jobs and your resources, then please believe my cousins in the Appalachians, they coming for you too. <laughs> and y'all know Kamala Harris has yet to say Lake and Riley's name. As borders are, she opened the border to millions of illegal immigrants that have flooded American streets with deadly drugs and gangs that have spiked overdoses by over 124% and brought more crime into commu uh, excuse me, minority communities. So how's that for black folks? But let's take race out of it. Just as a woman, period. How can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? because I wasn't done. See, how can you promote equity for women and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? And what kind of feminists would still allow men to enter their sacred spaces, i.e. our bathrooms and school locker rooms? Do I even need to mention the opening ceremony at the Olympics? Or the fact that Angela Carini was forced to fight a man and told us that she's never been punched so hard in her life. We cannot allow dangerous liberals who think things like this are okay into the White House because my daughter will not be fighting a man at her wrestling match. <laughs> both men and women can agree on is that national security is important. So who would y'all rather see lead us into war if it were so to happen? My silk press sister Kamala or the big dog Donald Trump? <laughs> and lastly, I cannot get up here without mentioning my farmers the backbone of this country. And aside from the Biden-Harris administration hurting you guys in ways we can't even comprehend by the rising cry, uh, cost of everything, black farmers suffered even more due to the delays associated with the Inflation Reduction Act signed in 2022. Now don't let the Biden-Harris administration fool you because they waited until the ninth hour to, dis uh, to sign off on disbursements as a last minute attempt to garner support. But why would they hurt the agricultural industry? Probably because they're looking forward to making more money in the pharmaceutical one. <laughs> and speaking of pharmaceuticals, because I promise I'm going to wrap this up. When they bring up abortion and they talk about protecting your medical freedoms, don't be afraid to mention COVID. The Biden-Harris administration forced Americans to take an experimental vaccine and took away their jobs, their livelihoods, and their freedoms if they refused. Trump gave us a choice and Biden gave us a mandate. A 
Okay, y'all, because I'm about to kill him with this one. So the next time the left wants to tell you that, hey, abortion is a right and you need to protect your medical freedoms. Remember that they took those freedoms away from men and women the second they got in office and there's nothing stopping them from doing it again. Sure. Clock it. <clears throat> So lastly, again, I'm going to encourage you all to vote based on the facts and not feelings. Oh, he made me feel so bad when he said that. Okay, but they hurt your families when they sent all your tax dollars overseas. Oh, it hurts my feelings when he acts like that. Okay, but it hurts all of us when you see an administration failing their country that they were elected to represent. In which case, I'm going to leave y'all with, hey, mama, daddy, I made it. <laughs> There you have it. Michaela Montgomery speaking, dropping some facts about Kamala Harris or Kamala Harris, whichever way you say, and really her failures on policy. And I love to hear from you. What do you think of what she said? I look forward to hearing your opinions and I'll see you in the next one.